Hey, South Africa. Uh, happy Heritage Day, and I hope you're having a great day with friends and family. I'm really excited. I'm making one of my favorite meals, and it's called a bunny chow. And uh, it is just so completely a unique dish to my hometown of Durban. Uh, and to me, it just represents everything about the heritage of a place like KwaZulu-Natal and of Durban, a melting pot of different heritages and cultures. So for me, food and meals are such an important way to bring people together around a table from different cultures, different backgrounds, and discuss what actually unites us as South Africans. Seeing it as a strength rather than as a weakness and building on these different cultures and having far more understanding about where we come from and where we need to be going as a country. I think it's just the combining of different uh, cultures and traditions that come together to form just a huge rich tapestry of who we are as a nation. A lot of people around the world say, well, South Africa's biggest uh, weakness is the fact that uh, there are so many different tribes, cultures, languages, heritages. I think that's our biggest strength. I think it's the bringing together of those into this rich tapestry that weaves such a strong bind uh, that ties us together as South Africans. I think that's what I'm most excited about to talk about when I talk about being a South African. Uh, Kosa, I think because of the amount of time that I spend uh, between KwaZulu and Natal, where it's mainly Isi Zulu speaking, and, uh, and the Western Cape, where the majority uh, of South Africans that speak Isi Kosa, I think that it's, uh, it's be a useful language to, to be able to learn uh, in the commuting that I have to do uh, around the country. Well, I think it's just so many uniquely South African words that just will never find expression in the English language. Words like aish to, to, to determine something that, that's gone wrong. It's just so uniquely uh, us. Uh, words like chacharach, when you say chacharach to someone overseas, it sounds like uh, you're swearing at them. Meanwhile, it you know, means someone uh, who behaves a lot like the EFF do in Parliament. Uh, but, you know, there, there's just so many of them. And there's so many words in Afrikaans, Isitosa, Isizulu, any of the good languages that are just so unique, um, uh, you know, to South Africa and which you, you wouldn't be able to express yourself in, in, in English uh, if you were to use, uh, try and find a word to, to replace them. So I'm a real mix, a South African mix, a uh, huge, uh, Irish influence from my grandmother's side, Dutch influence from my grandfather's side, uh, but I regard myself as a South African. I mean, I think those are a function of my past. Uh, I hold no passport in any other country. This is my home, and uh, that is why I believe so passionately that I, I want to fix South Africa and, and to make it a better place for, for all of us. I mean, there's, this is home. This special piece of rock on the southernmost tip of this mighty continent is our home and we're going to sink or swim together regardless of where we come from or who we are or what language we speak. Uh, we've got to make this country work and we've got to build it into really unleashing the full potential I think it has to be one of the greatest places on earth. So there it is, the finished product, the bunny chow and all its uh, heritage day glory ready to be consumed by friends and family. Wherever you are, whatever your heritage, I hope you have a good heritage day surrounded by friends, family and good cheer. Be proud of who you are, and be proud of who we are as a South African nation. Happy Heritage Day, South Africa.